After we fit regression models and obtain the estimates, we can use visual techniques to display the regression estimates. It helps people better understand your findings. In this video, we will explore how to plot the regression results in Stata. Let's open the National Longitudinal Survey of Women dataset. We run the OLS regression of log wage on grade, age, married, union, and race. First, let me show you how to plot the average marginal effects of the explanatory variables on the outcome variable, the log of wage. We can use the margins and margins plot commands to do that. We type margins, comma, and use the option dydx. We put a star to denote all the variables. Then we use the margins plot to plot the marginal effects. The recast option specifies the plot style. We use scatter here. We also add a horizontal line at y equal to 0. Here we have the estimates plots with the 95 confidence intervals. The graph shows the estimates as points and the confidence intervals as bars. Any bars across the zero horizontal line imply insignificant estimates. Another command is coiplot. It gives a similar graph for the estimates. We can choose which coefficients to be plotted with the keep option. Combined with the estimates store command, the coiplot command allows us to plot many regression models onto one single graph. For example, we may want to know whether educational attainment plays the same role in wages for union members and for non-union members. We can run two separate regression models and then compare the effects on the same graph. We store the results with the names Yulian and non-Yulian. Then we use coiplot, followed by the two models' names. And there we are. We find that black workers are less than white workers only among non-Yulian members. The educational attainment measured by grade completed has a larger effect on wages for non-Yulian members. Finally, let me show you how to plot the standardized coefficients. We have learned how to use the command std beta to obtain the standardized coefficients in the last video. By default, the standardized results are stored with the name capital S. Or we can use the store option to give it a name. Then we use the coiplot command to plot the results. It helps to identify which variable is the most important factor behind wages.